Hi everybody, it's Kevin Orpert here. As you know, our very own Mark Allen will be retiring soon. Now, I've worked with Mark Allen for 23 years, but many of you only know Mark from TV. What I'm about to share is behind the scenes stuff. Um, I walked up one part, I said, oh, went up the second floor where Todd's office is and the salespeople and walked up there and I said, it's where the important people are. Well, working with Mark is a real experience. I'll tell you this, the Mark Allen that you see on television is not the Mark Allen we see behind the camera. He always has a joke or a story to tell, and uh, I've really grown to appreciate Mark's great sense of humor, especially over the past several years. Oh, come here. This is the boss's office. I knocked, I had Gary work with me. I knocked and I said, hey boss, it's Mark. How about a raise? <laughs> Gary off camera says, no. I looked at the camera and I said, he's under a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. There was a fellow whose name uh, was in the news named Denyamyuk, and Mark could never get that name right. And we would all get to giggling. Patrice and Mark and I, we would see it coming up on the script, and Patrice and I would go, Denyamyuk, Denyamyuk. <laughs> and Mark, every time, every time Mark came across that name, he skipped it, except for the one time he said it, he actually said, Denyamyuk. Great story. What? I can't tell this story. I... At News 10, we pride ourselves on providing you with the most accurate and reliable newscast every day. Gosh, I, I, no, I really don't have anything. I can't you explain can, this story. Well, I think what Mark is going to do is what he does a lot of times on his uh, weekends. Anyway, he's going to go to his shop. He's going to put on his jeans. He's going to tinker around and do things. And I think he's planning a trip down the river on his boat. And I know he's really looking forward to that. I know this one weatherman that, that knows all too well when you shouldn't have frozen pipes, what you should do, what's, and what's when the to story? do it, and yet he always, every year, has them. We need some rain. And it seems like every weekend, after every weekend, he would come in and he'd have his fingers all bandaged up. One time he had a bandage on his head, and another time his knees were all bruised up and so on. And so he starts these projects, and he really does them very well. But he's, I think he's kind of clumsy because he's always banging his thumb or hitting his knee or banging his head or something like that. It's really kind of a danger. It's, it's, but it's, it's, no, I don't want to do this to you because it's just kind of a story and it could take like 45 seconds. Oh, Kevin Orpert's always been a keep Manhattan, just give me that countryside kind of guy. Uh, one of my favorite memories is Mike King is reading sports. These lights, are, which are very hot, one exploded during the newscast. He keeps going as if nothing had happened, but then the light caught fire, and the studio above it is on fire. I'm up there with a fire extinguisher, putting this fire. We had the fire department here, and Mike kept reading sports. He never quit. Well, Mark, congratulations on your retirement. It's been 23 great years working with you, and I know that you have great plans for your future, but I just want you to know it's been a real pleasure for me to have been a part of your career, and I look forward to seeing you in your retirement.